Welcome to FreshMind.com. My name is Eric, and I'm going to show you how to revolve a curve to create a surface. We're going to start by creating a curve, and then we're going to revolve it around our y-axis. So I'm going to go to a front view. I'm going to go to my Create menu. I'm going to go down to CV Curve Tool, or you can use EP Curve Tool. Click on CV Curve Tool. Now, I'm just going to create a quick kind of a glass. And so I don't want a hole going through the center of my glass, so I want to start and stop on my Y axis. So I'm going to press and hold down letter X on my keyboard. That allows me to click my first point and snap it to the center grid. And now I'm just going to start, actually I'm going to adjust that, I'm going to pull that down. Now I'm just going to start clicking uh, to create the curve that I want. And I'm going to finish it by the same way I started it. I'm going to press and hold down letter X. And now I can click and snap my last point to this center uh, grid line, my Y axis. All right, when I'm done with my curve, I'm going to press the letter. I'm just going to press the Enter button on my keyboard. I'm going to go back to a perspective view. And with my curve selected, I'm going to go to my Surfaces menu and click on Revolve. Press the number 5 to go to Smooth Shade so you can see our surface that we created by revolving our curve around the Y axis. Now if you wanted to adjust the shape of your surface, all you need to do, the easiest way is to go to your Windows menu, go down to Outliner, and there is our curve in the Outliner so we can easily select our curve. And now with the curve selected, I can right click anywhere inside my view panel and a menu will pop up. And from that menu, select Control Vertex. And now you have all these CVs that you can adjust. So I'm going to go back into my front view and just start grabbing some of these CVs and readjust the shape of our object. So very simple to do. And there is our new shape. Now once you're done and you're not going to make any more changes, you can delete the history. If you don't delete the history, then if you ever select your curve and you move your curve, it will affect the shape of your surface. So if I grab this curve and I move it, you can see how it changes the shape of our surface. Now if I select my surface and I go up to Edit, Delete by Type, History, now if we select a curve, it's detached, it's no longer attached. And now we can delete our curve. All right, I'm going to undo that. I'm going to delete, let me undo again. I'm going to go ahead and delete our surface. Move this curve in the middle. With this curve selected, I'm going to go back up to my Surfaces menu, go to Revolve, and then I'm going to click on the box next to it, the Options box. This dialog box appears, and you have a lot of options when you do your Revolve. You can change your Start and your End Sweep angles. Basically, that's going to tell Maya how far you want to revolve this, whether you want to start where it is or start somewhere else or where you want it to end. Uh, right now, we're revolving around the Y axis. So if we wanted to revolve around the x-axis, I could click this axis preset to x. And now if I click on revolve, you'll see that we get a different shape here because instead of revolving around the y-axis, we are now revolving that same curve around the x-axis. If you wanted to revolve it around z, just change it to z, and again, revolve it, and you get a different shape. And again, you're starting your start. So if we just wanted to do like halfway, apply, and you'll see that our evolve only went about halfway. So play around with those options, find out what they all do. Um, the easiest way to find out what they all do is basically just go to your help files and do a search for revolve, and you'll find plenty of information that explains all of these options in uh, a lot of detail. So thanks for watching, and that concludes this tutorial.